The story takes place in a small town in California, right at the beginning of 1986. Bye, Mr. Wilson. Have one be- Oh, shit! A minute longer and the neighborhood would have been burned to a crisp! Kevin has been on one of his investigations again. This time it seems important. Hey Big Joe, you coming to the treehouse? My stupid brother snuck into the woods again and says he's found something he wants to show us. Laters, losers. Enjoy the hospitality of the Purple Skulls. Catch you later. Uh-oh. Gang fight? Yes, but I think from now on we'll have to be careful with the Purple Skulls. That sounded like an ultimatum. You know how it is. If you want to take my daughter with you, you'll have to defeat all your opponents. Satisfied? I don't need anyone to defend me. Let's go. I'm out of here, Dad. And what are you guys looking at? Something wrong? No, no, no. Nothing wrong at all. Everything's fine. Okay, let's go. The treehouse was their secret hut. The only place where they could do everything they wanted. What did they do? Well, kids stuff. It's about time. I've been waiting all morning. What the hell have you guys been doing? If I said nothing much, I'd be lying, Squirt. Anyway, what did you want? What is all the fuss about? Hi there! Wow, you were lying, Kevin? There's a first time for everything. See, I told you, it's... it's amazing! Wow, what's that? It looks like an Egyptian pyramid, but what material is that? It's as if it has some kind of special power. They do it as a space in which souls wait for Judgment Day to pass into the afterlife or be destroyed by beasts from the underworld. And this stone can drain you of your life! Whoa! What the fuck? Wow, careful. Do you guys see what I see? We can see dead people! Hey, why don't we use it to find Sparky? The one day war must not be delayed any further. I wholeheartedly agree, sir. I wholeheartedly agree. What are we waiting for? I want to meet some ghosts and have an adventure. Hold your horses, Kevin. Let's go step by step. We don't know how dangerous it could be. Boo. Oh, I know. We have to go see Sparky. I get to finally see Sparky again. Look, there he is. Come here, boy. Do you see? He's really here. He's here. No, where are you going? Don't run. Sparky, wait. Come back. Come back, Sparky. A reunion. Wait. <sighs> well, he exploded. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Sparky, and what is that machine he's holding? Nothing, huh? Well, it shines a lot to be nothing. Give it to me. No! Whoa, 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 Kevin! Kevin, where are you going? Oh, shit. Oh, the gamma bar was powering to do it! When you're a child and lose a friend, you see life in a different way. You feel helpless, fragile, like a little ant that is dodging the shoe that will inevitably crush it. Listen Chris, I know you're sad, but we have to move on. We're all here for you and want to help you. We're your friends. The guys and I are worried about you. The Purple Skulls have been bothering them since the beginning of school. They were like a plague in Tajunga. Someone was finally going to make them pay for their abuses. Quincy! My face! It's a mess! Ah. And he just fainted. Come on, Kevin! Oh, there he is! Kevin! You're... you're here! Chris! Kevin! The Major has every means at his disposal to hunt you down. He won't stop until he has his soul back in power. Oh no! The spirits of the Underworld have come for him! No! Don't take my critic! Oh no! They've taken him! Sir, I'm located to do it. Permission to act. Have you found it at last? Yes, I'm about to deploy a false emergency operation. I have the area cordoned off. Alright, bring me that so now. Don't screw this up, Bronson. You know what it is at stake. They've come for our parents! No! Holy shit! They quarantined our house off! Now tell us where our parents are! What have you done with them? You evil bastards! Come on, let's go! We gotta get out of here before they wake up! No, Big Joe, we can't leave! Yeah, but how? I'm sure they're guarding the entrance. I think I have an idea. Follow me! Up! Down! Up! Down! Up! Middle! Down! Up! Ah! 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 Oh snap! The ghost kids in the school told us not to go to the creepy forest! Well, this will officially be the worst summer in history! Hmm, the bar is pretty high indeed! This time we almost got killed! Take this! Haha! <laughs> he melted! 
Turns it into ectoplasm. Got his ass kicked by some kids. Suck on that wuss. Look, the kids. All the ghosts are disappearing. Their enslavement has been ended. We've saved their souls. This will be handled my way, without raising suspicion and without harm coming to anyone. You see what I'm saying? You're soft, Bronson. And forget about seeing your family again. I'll make sure of that myself. We have to hurry if we want to see our families again. Bronson was different. He was a different type of person. He was bad. Or maybe not. But at least he had some principles. Why would a normal person start working with the devil? And once you do the devil's bidding, where do you draw the line between what's good and what's bad? There we go! Great job punching him with your big meaty claws! Big Joe, your parents? Oh wow, they're not here! I haven't seen them! Yours neither, guys! I heard the trailer park put up a good fight! Your people fought hard, Charlie, but we haven't heard from them in hours! Ah! Oh, why is this fight so hard? I just need to hit you a few more times and there we go! Apparently I only need to hit the book! Hello? Is anyone here? Have you seen our families? We're looking for them. No, these are the only refugees I've found. We were going to Chandelier's, but some strange things started happening and we had to hide. It was weird, guys. Okay, I'm sorry I've not found your families, but we must get these people out. We have the chance to escape and we must take advantage of it. Well, these are the last. Underway, boys. The Major needs new batteries for his toys. Batteries? Hey look, they've taken the missing refugees, and they have our families! Damn kids, finally you're mine! Open fire, boys! But, they're just kids, sir! I don't give a shit, they have to do it! Shoot! Um, yes, sir! Oh, no, 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 oh, they're firing at us! No! Oh! Quick, this way! They're firing at us! Are we gonna jump in the water? Oh, no, that's a sewer! Wait, guys, did you hear that? I hear choppers! Uh oh, god damn it! It's Bronson! Oh, I've got you now, you little brats! Where do you think you're going? Watch out, he's got a machine gun! God damn it, that guy's actually going to fire at us! Into the crevice we go, and out from his machine gun range! Yeah, that was close! <laughs> uh. Biggie! Whoa! B Biggie! Something. Hold on! We're almost there! You can make it! <laughs> Guys, thanks! Thanks for being my friends! Big Joe! Chris? Yeah? I'm not afraid anymore, Chris. I'm not afraid anymore. Big Joe never hurt anyone, but the game of fate has its own rules, and it's a game where you never know if you're winning or losing. We just travel along the railroad. We need to go find our parents. We are now leaving Goldfield and headed towards the military facility where they're keeping all the people. They were good friends, no doubt about that. But at this point, they had become like family, and they needed each other to keep steady on this journey. That's definitely a ship, but it doesn't look friendly. And we found a scooter bike, and Major Rush has found us! Are we gonna lose someone else? Oh, snap, he took the pilot out, and he's definitely going after us. Charlie, no, wait, no, Charlie, Charlie, come on, what? oh shit, one more, 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 yes, Major Russ had taken everything they loved in this world, Charlie tried to sacrifice herself for her friends, the emptiness Chris felt inside did nothing but grow, I'm sick of this Chris, he always have to be the leader, strutting around like a superior and making decisions for everyone, who gave you the right to do that, huh, we're the last hope, Matt, there are no more chances, no escaping, it's this or nothing. Come on, Matt. We're bros. Listen, Matt. I need you. Hello. Is anyone home? Is this gonna be a Dark Souls boss? That's a fucking Dark Souls boss right there. Monka S. Monka Sheik. And the hell are you? Hmm, that's enough, boy. Osis? It seems that what has fallen upon my ears was not entirely uncertain. A great weight lies upon your shoulders, and yet you do not falter before adversity. It is your duty to save the world from destruction. 
The day my brother dethroned me, he condemned me with a curse. My source of power was reduced to nothing. Only a pure heart can restore and once again spin the wheel of the eternal cycle. Kill! 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 Haha! We finally got our revenge on Heartless! That was for Big Joe, you jackass! Major Ross, I've come for you! Huh? Huh? Chris, we have to stop fighting it. What we're doing is pointless. This is scumbag using them to feed the duet. He's using our families as a battery so that he can open a portal between the two worlds. W what That can't be true. Take this! Haha, take that, you bastard! This is what happens to those who dare challenge me. No, 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 no! No, no! 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 Shit! There we go! Did that do anything? Did that do anything? Matt! Charlie! Chris! We're friends, Matt! Best friends! Matt! Together! Always! Matt! No! No! You have to destroy this military complex to save the world! I'll see you out, okay? Chris? I promise you won't be long, and that we'll make it out of this together? We'll get out of this together. I'll be by your side. Always. Charlie? Guess how you fool! Yes! The final goodbye! Don't let go of her head, you motherfucker! You need to escape with her, I tell you! You need to escape with her! Chris, you fool! Sacrificing yourself for the whole damn world. They don't even deserve you. Come on, boyo! We were chosen by the gods to save everyone. This is it. This is our time. There's no time like the present. It's time to be a fucking hero, Chris. Let's go! There comes a time when everyone encounters a duet. Returning to the beginning. There's only one way to fix this. Gosh, Grandma, that was a good story. And did Chris really defeat that monster? Don't be silly, Sean. It's just a story. How could a kid defeat an evil god? The truth is, we'll never know what's on the other side until the time comes. That's why it's important to spend every minute of your precious gift called life with the loved ones we love. Enjoy life. Laugh. Love. And never ever reach the end of the road regretting something you didn't do. Well, there isn't a moral, Sean. This story is like life itself. No matter what decision you make, whatever you choose, Choose a life and live it. <laughs> Fuck game. Grandma Charlie? Security system unlocked? Okay, now the sequence. Sequence correct. Entering connection value. Oh my god, it worked. It worked. Value set. The connection will begin in a few moments. Take a seat. Well, I guess it's time to start over. I've tried to lead a decent life. A happy life. It's time to go back to the girl I was. See you soon. Where are we? We're in the duet. We're in the duet. Grandma Charlie's gone! Guys? Are you here, guys? She's turning back into her kid self! Go, Charlie! Go to them! They've missed you for so long! Ah, the ugly cry is real! <laughs> The ugly cry is real! <laughs> Charlie, go! Guys! Hey, look! Charlie? Chris? Together? Always?
Yes, together, always.